everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a rainy day here in Southern California, so I figured what better opportunity to sit in front of the camera and talk about myself. So all jokes aside, I figured I could go through my sewing journey, my sewing machines. Let's get into it. The most common question that I get as a sewing content creator is how did I get into sewing? And I actually really like this question because I feel like it's a question that people are asking because they want to get into it themselves. So there is a little backstory required. I think I've always had a DIY bone in my body. I have memories of trying to tape anything and everything together, making my own gift wrap out of magazine pages or trying to tape together doll clothes. And then one year when I think I was about 12, I just randomly said, I think I wanna get into sewing. And then later that year, my aunt gave me a sewing machine for Christmas. And that kind of set off my lifelong hobby of sewing. So I've been sewing for a really long time. I actually still have that sewing machine. Shout out to Aunt Vicky. Um, it's like a very entry level sewing machine. And I'm going to talk about sewing machines later in the video. So we'll come back to that machine because I actually have some thoughts and some recommendations on that. So I started sewing. I thought it was really cool. There, I found this website called Berta Style, which we obviously all know what Berta Style is if you're in the sewing world. And I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world that you could print PDF patterns at home. So I started doing that myself and I only took one sewing class in San Diego from Sew Hut in Claremont. I took one class, they kind of taught me how to thread the machine, how to thread the bobbin, and then everything else that I've learned is largely self-taught. I have no formal fashion. I didn't go to fit em or anything like that. I've learned everything from the YouTube Academy, College of YouTube. So all that to say, I think anyone can take up sewing if that's something that you're really interested in and hopefully I can help you. But really I got into sewing because I wanted to make fashion items affordable. So I started fashion blogging back in, at the end of 2009. I had seen some other fashion blogs and I just thought it was so fun and so cool that they basically like did all their own mini photo shoots and they built their own websites. And I just was also kind of a computer nerd. And so I was really excited to be, you know, making my own website and trying to make my own, you know, HTML, <laughs> CSS layouts. Um, so I thought it was really cool to have a website that was just like totally put together and produced by one person and that's kind of what got me into fashion blogging. And I did fashion blogging for a really long time until I felt like I hit a point where there wasn't a lot of purpose to the outfits that I was putting together and posting, which that's no shade to anyone who still does that, of course. There's some very successful people who are really great at styling, but for me, I just kind of hit the end of the road where I felt like, okay, I don't know what I'm really doing with this, so I'm going to start creating my own outfits because I felt like I had more of a story to tell. Well, not really a story. I just had more to say about creating outfits and talking about how I made them. So I had this like transition point where I was starting to talk about, you know, whatever I wore that day, but also mixing in DIY projects and then not, you know, over time it just became fully sewing. I initially got into sewing because I was trying to recreate outfits that I couldn't afford. The other most common question I get is what sewing machines do I sew on? And I actually made a video about this a really long time ago. I should check and see when I posted that, but I still use the same two machines. I have a Janome HD 1000, which is a mid-range industrial sewing machine. So that just means that all the internal parts are made of metal and the dog feeds are a little bit stronger than your standard entry level machine. The price point on that is about, I think I got it on sale, but I think you can buy it brand new anywhere between $350 to $400. And you, if you are just getting into sewing, you do not have to spend that amount of money on a machine. I had been sewing for a very long time at that point. When I bought the machine, I knew that it was a hobby that I was going to continue on in. So I'll talk about entry level machines in just a moment. But the other machine that I have is a serger, again, you don't have to buy this machine, it is an extra machine, but I personally love it. If my serger broke today, I would immediately go out and buy another one. Um, so I use the Singer Pro Finish, which I also got on sale at Joanne a trillion years ago. I think I got it for 150. I love my serger, it makes the insides of my garments look incredible and professional. Um, 
but definitely not a necessary purchase. If you are just getting into sewing, I would definitely recommend purchasing an entry level machine. Don't spend over $100. That would be my recommendation. Of course, it depends on what kind of sewing you wanna do, whether you wanna get into quilting or embroidery, but my first machine, I think is probably gonna be around the $80 spend, so maybe, maybe $80 to $100 today if you were to go out and buy one it was just a simple 12 stitch machine so it could make a buttonhole it could do a straight stitch a zigzag stitch and then had you know of course a few other stitches but I think that's a great entry-level machine something that doesn't have a ton of features because you don't even know if you're gonna like sewing if you don't have a sewing machine you don't know if you're going to enjoy it as a hobby, or maybe you do, I don't know, but that would be my recommendation. Then, later down the road, you could keep that machine as a backup machine or a traveling machine if you need it. You can keep it to teach your friends how to sew and upgrade your machine when you're ready. That's what I would do. Yeah, I guess this is kind of a life update. So where has this whole sewing journey brought me today? I'm still, of course, on Instagram, I'm on TikTok making content, but the most exciting part about this is that I have finally launched my own line of sewing patterns, and you can purchase those on Etsy. I don't know, it was just something that I had never really thought, like, oh, that's something I could do, but I've sewn so many different sewing patterns over the years that it kind of just, you know, I can look at a garment and kind of figure out the construction automatically in my head, and so I thought, well, why not me? And why not me is because, you know, I don't have a formal fashion background. I can draft patterns, but I've definitely always had that thought of, oh, well, what if it isn't 100% right? Or, you know, just all the, all the imposter syndrome things, I guess, that people go through. I finally launched my own line of sewing patterns. It is called These Days Patterns these day sewing patterns. I have to use both because that name's a little long sometimes. I hope you will check it out. I have two patterns out so far. I have a dress that's perfect for wedding season and then I also have a makeup bag sewing pattern available which is just like cute, fun, and I use it every day. I actually do use it. My next sewing pattern is in the process of being graded. I actually don't do that myself so if you're thinking of starting your own sewing pattern company and you need help and you need resources, please email me, I'm happy to tell you all about my process and maybe I'll actually make a different video about that. So if that is a limiting belief that you have, that you can't start your own sewing pattern company because you don't know how to do every single step of the process, we should talk. I think I should make a video on this actually, so maybe come back for that. Okay, thank you for making it to this part of the video. I hope I've answered some of your questions. If you ever have a question, comment on any of my channels. I definitely try to answer every single question. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.